Hey guys fellas, every day I'm confronted with hundreds of pens. I'm in the business, but I'm also a user and lover of fine writing instruments. So today we're going to discover which pen I would buy from my store right now. Now, obviously this is not about the best pen that you can buy from Style of Zug, but it's something a bit more personal and I'll try to guide you a bit around my choice and why, also depending on the pieces that I have in my collection. And to do that, we'll go a bit around the store together and we'll just pull out five, six pens that I think are truly cool for me personally and then we're gonna define which one is going to be my next writing instrument let's do that together so let's start checking out all windows uh, graph of Castell. we have the magnum up there which i really really love let me open up for you so you can check this out um, and it's definitely one of the pieces i want to own at some point Pen of the years, I'm, I'm covered. I mean, I have, I mean, I'm not covered. I have the Aztecs, uh, I purchased the Ancient Egypt. I truly wanna have the Knights at some point. Um, but let's see, maybe, maybe we'll pick out a, a pen of the year too, because I have one in mind that I really love. Classic is not really mine in the sense that uh, maybe it's a little bit too small for me. I love the model, it's very well done, but I don't think I'm gonna add this one to my collection. I already have perfect pencils. And over here we have the very cool Guilloche line. Check this out, colorful, but definitely not for me. So, uh, nothing from Graf here, but the store is still big enough to check out a few things. So here we have quite a few things that, uh, I mean, you know I love the Glacier, but I don't know, it's not, uh, my heart is not beating right now for it. Like right now, right now, it's this is, would be like a kind of emotional uh, kind of purchase. Per diem, I, I cannot take this away from my customers. So <laughs> that's also one thing. I cannot buy whatever my customers are gonna buy. And this one are a bit over the top. Um, so let's go further. Just had a customer here. Let me put this away. Duck, duck, duck. There we go. So, but here at Caron actually, you know that I have the Grand Bleu as a rollerball, but there is still a piece that I haven't pulled the trigger on, which I really love. And I'd like to see this one with you again, because it's really one of the pens that I'm probably going to uh, get anyway. But let's see if it's gonna be today the piece I'm going to get. So I'm gonna put it here. The good thing is we have this leather pad, so the pens don't get um, uh, they, they don't get like uh, damaged or so. Then uh, here we have amber of Graf von Faber Castell. Lobrac is a bit over the top. I love it. I am uh, good with the sailor because look what I'm using here. I'm using my Iro Miyabi, which I love, which there is, the brother is right here waiting to be picked up by one of you guys. This is the one I was telling you, the Knights. I, I really looking forward to own this one at some point. I love the Damascus steel and then the waved guillotte on the cap. Vasily Kandinsky is a bit too much. Oh, look at this James Dean seal that we have. Very cool, love it, love it, but, 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 but. This one I already have, the Dolce Vita, fine nib, beautiful. This one, no, they're sets, I mean, amazing deals, but no, not the Dupont. Sailor, I said, I'm, I'm okay right now. I mean, Pelican is, is like, I, I don't really have a Pelican. Like, can you imagine that? Like, I, I sell Pelicans, I love Pelicans, they're great writing, uh, writers, but I don't, I don't have a Pelican. And that would definitely be one of the pieces that I should consider as adding to, adding to my collection. Uh, but, but I simply don't know, maybe the green demonstrator, extra fine, I'll think about that. But what I see here that I'd like to pull out, so most people have the Emperor or the uh, number 20, or number 20 or number 50, whether it's with Maquille or without. But what I'd like to consider, which almost no one has, is this Namiki Aya, which has a very nice shape. It's big, it's maquillé, it has the Raiden on it. Uh, wonderful, wonderful writing instrument. So we have the second one. 
Hold on, what else are we gonna pick? So, oh, there is something I missed here. There is something I missed here, which I actually would really love to have for myself, for my collection, as an everyday writer. And I'm talking about Scribo. And Scribo Phil has done this wonderful new model here. Check this out. And what I love is the writing experience you get. Now, this is a medium nib. Let's, we're gonna try this one out. Then, uh, oh, there is another one that comes to my mind, which I really wanna consider for myself. Come with me. It's not here. Come, come, I'll show you. It's a bit of secret space, but this one, this, is an Agatha Christie that comes without the box and it's a set but I'm even considering like selling this separately the Agatha Christie uh, fountain pen and the ballpoint that we have here let me show you this is the ballpoint which actually is also very cool so Agatha Christie is a pen that I really want to have and this is without box, and I wouldn't buy this one as, in, as an investment, but rather like as a really, really cool piece to have on. Check this out, would it look nice? It would look amazing, no? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, it's another piece we're gonna consider, and we're at four here. Now, one more piece I'd like to consider is an Ottohut that I don't have. And you guys know that I love Ottohut, I love my design zero eight, it's right here. I have a design C, which actually is in my bag, in my backpack, my Mont Blanc backpack. But I don't have a design zero seven. And even if the design zero seven all black is absolutely cool and very, how to say, super sleek in terms of design and understated, there is one that I really love because of the beautiful Guillaume that it has on, on, on the barrel. And it's in 925 sterling silver. You know, silver is going up and up and up. So whenever you get the chance to have your hands on a silver writing instrument, you should actually consider it. Look at this corn Guillaume, this Design 07. This might be the piece that I also consider getting. Uh, I am a, an Ottohut aficionado, so it is kind of part of of, of my heritage. So we're gonna uh, test, you know what, we can test them all. We can test them all and we're gonna do this together. And for that, I'm gonna take this notebook here of Hane Mule, uh, which is, uh, has a very nice paper uh, for, for fountain pen, you see? Made in Germany, they're famous for doing some awesome paper. Even if one of the notebooks that I use to write down all the quotes and so uh, is um, the Smithson one. But this is a very nice daily notebook for projects and whatever I have to write down during um, the um, during business meetings. So let's them let's them. So let them let, let me try this out together. Let's discover their performance and see which one I would actually go for here from my store. It's a nice selection, I think. We have a Swiss, we have a Japanese, we have a German, German and Italian. So it's a nice mix just as I like it because I think that the peculiarity, the beauty of fine writing instrument is the fact that you have the chance to own different kind of writing instrument uh, at once. So different kind of manufacturers, different kind of, of, of countries. So each country brings its own uh, concept and way of thinking the product, way of conceptualizing the products. And to test them out, we're going to dip them in this deep sea green ink. Now, listen, it could be that one or the other has already been dipped maybe with a black uh, ink. We always clean them out, but there might always be little particles of, of, of inks remaining, so it might not really show the actual color. But it's important, since we are a physical retailer, we want customers to try the writing instrument. And in this case, I'm going to try them out. I'm not going to do a long nib test. This is a, a medium nib of Carandash. 
Now, a lot of people say, well, when you dip it, you cannot actually see how it actually performs. Believe me, I've had thousands of pens in my hands, and when you dip it and you start riding, if there is a problem with the feet, you're gonna feel it immediately. Even if there is a problem with like the, the, the nib itself, you know, the 18 karat gold nib, you're going to feel it absolutely immediately because the pen is gonna start riding and then it's gonna stop right away and usually when this doesn't happen when we do this kind of test it's also, it's also not going to happen when you fill them up using the piston or the converter so number one yes i like it i could even consider getting a fine nib on this one um, it's a bit thin on the grip section personally but um, no I love it I mean when I look at this color and then when I look at this guillage when I close it down I mean we're really talking about an absolute masterpiece here good fellas I love so this pen I'm probably gonna get either way but let's see if it's the piece that I'm gonna commit to today then Namiki Aya wonderful writing instrument with a big beautiful nice nib 18 karat the same kind of nib that can be found on the custom urushi now i think that this pen would be absolutely powerful it's not the kind of namiki you usually see that collector have so uh, it is like having an amiki but an amiki that not everyone has and i think this this is cool because we gotta be also trendsetter not just trend followers so Number two, wow, very Japanese, very katana-like. Uh, I, I love this riding experience. <laughs> you know, it's very Japanese. The pen is big, but once you start using such a wonderful riding instrument with such a beautiful uh, big nib. It is like, if you come this way, I'll show you, you can see so well what you're riding because of how much um, space you have from the tip to where you're riding. So it's actually super precise. You see throughout what you're riding and that's one of the things that makes this wonderful Namiki uh, Aya so amazing or obviously also the, the Emperor. This one can be filled up using the converter and cartridges of Pilot. Then next one we have the Otto Hut Design 07. Wonderful riding instrument, two-tone 18 karat gold nib, medium. I do have a medium on the Design 08 and I have a fine on the Design C, number three. I know this riding sensation. I know it. I know it because I own it already on two other riding instruments. I love this riding instrument. I love the corn guillage. I think I prefer the corn guillage uh, all silver, but obviously the corn guillage in uh, gold, maybe you can show it real quick so that the viewers can have this comparison. I mean, the gold silver one also has this charm. This gold gives this kind of um, warm to, 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 to this very metallic writing instrument. So, but I think I think I will go for the silver one. Then, Mont Blanc, Agatha Christie. Now we're gonna dip this one up because it doesn't, it's not like a, it is brand new. So you see there is no ink in, in, the, um, uh, in the body, in the barrel but it's not one that is like full set and so on. So it's more of a daily carry. It's also a good deal, to be honest. So let's see, medium nib, 18 karat. Is 
a very Mont Blanc kind of writing experience. I love it, huh? I also love, look at the logo on the top. It's this kind of cream kind of logo. So it's not the white, white one. And then Agatha Christie. I mean, this is an iconic writing instrument. Probably I'll just have to get this one for myself. I don't think this is gonna be the one that I'm gonna get myself today. But, Scribo Feel. Now, wonderful writing instrument. They're coming out with another three marvelous um, Ebonite write, limited edition to 90 pieces. They're coming out next week, so stay tuned on that. We'll be showing that on, on our Instagram, whether it's Style of Tubes Instagram or my Instagram. By the way, subscribe to the channel if you can, because you stay tuned on all new content that, that is coming up. And I'd love to for us to be connected and know that you're actually part of this amazing community of good fellas. Now we have here an 18 karat gold nib, medium, field of writing. You know, I am, to be completely honest and transparent, I'm tending to the Terdon still, huh? Because it's one that I really wanted a long time. But, but, but. So guys, let's make it Pretty short. It's gonna be the Scribo or the Carondage Le Mans Terdon. So let's discover a bit the writing feeling here. Good flow. Signature test. Longer signature. This is quite a fine kind of medium nib. And now let's see the Scribo. Uh, what I love about this Scribo is really the kind of how you hear what you're writing. It's a medium nib, but very precise kind of writing. I think I have my choice between these two. And I wasn't expecting that, but I think at this point, like today, from the feeling I get, I'm gonna take the Scribo feel. Faceted, made in Italy, very precise writing instrument, ruthenium uh, metal trims. It's at about like 700 uh, Swiss francs. Piston filling mechanism. But don't despair, Terdom. I'm gonna get you too. Give me a few weeks and I'm gonna buy the Terdom too. But so, if we have to give a, an answer to the question, Scribofeel is the pen that I would buy today from my store. And what about you, good fellas? Let me know down in the comments which pen you would actually buy from the ones that you have seen here around while browsing all around the boutique. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more content that is coming up. Next week, we're gonna have a full presentation of the Mont Blanc, the Origins collection, so you cannot miss out on that. So again, subscribe to the channel so you're sure you're not gonna miss out. Thank you, and don't forget that together, we are changing the game.